Welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Now I'm going to show you the tune, Rolling in My Sweet Baby's Arms. It's a song that's usually played in bluegrass kind of circles. And I'm just going to show you um, the basic vocal melody on the fiddle so that you can kind of play along and kind of eventually invent like a break or something um, from that. But it's also just a good beginner tune for getting going. So I'll play it once and then kind of break it down step by step, note by note, phrase by phrase after that. All right, so here it goes. That's it. Um, there's a lot more you can do with that and we will explore that in another video. This is more of a beginner basic version of this song. So here we go, starting. By the way, um, if you don't know the G scale, that's worth learning. Um, probably not central, but if you can play like the two octaves of the G scale, so the first octave. Usually the first kind of scale positions that I teach people, open one, two, three. And then the next octave uses low two on the A and E. Low two. All right, good, good. Okay, so um, once you get that scale, warm up with it, and it'll help a lot with this tune. Help you just pick things up more quickly if you got the scale. So here's how rolling in my sweet baby's arm starts on third finger on D. Kind of short long. So the rhythm is probably the hardest part of this, this song. Of that rhythm, and then it's followed by a triplet. That's the whole first phrase, first quarter, I guess. A little slower. Do it again. Three, four. I think it's worth going over a few times because if you get this rhythm, the rest of the tune is going to be pretty easy. Two, three, four. Two, one more time. Good, let's move on. Next part, same rhythm, same rhythmic structure pretty much, but we're going to go up to third on the A and then open E. So it'll be, the whole part is. So I'll play that a little slower. Two, you try it now. Take from the beginning. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, so the next part um, starts the same. And then it's uh, kind of just a lot of triplets. We're going to start D3. Low 2 on A. So here's that slowed down. One more time. That last note is first on the D. So here's this whole third quarter. Again. 
almost done. Fourth quarter. Same basic rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. Try singing that. That might help you really get this tune. Da, 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 da. It doesn't even have to be tonal just to get the rhythm. Da, 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 da. Two. One more time. Da, 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 da. So here's the last quarter. I'm going to play the whole tune a little bit more slowly. I'll play it twice and so you can play along. I think I covered everything and so if you're unsure of any part or if you miss any part when we play it from here on out, just go back and rewind and, and listen to the focused uh, learning on it. Okay, cool. Here we go. The whole thing twice through. One, two, three. down, you can start it on G. Or you can start it on A, which puts it in the key of, let's see, D. Two. So that's the only thing that will be different is you'll need the pinky for that part if you start it on A. That's all, because you don't have another open string above that, right? So uh, I always think it's a good idea to transpose things. You know, even if it's one little phrase, move it to another string, because you'll learn a lot about how to play that way. You'll learn how to finger another string better. You'll also learn the tune better by transposing it, because you're, you'll just know it that much more deeply. Anyway, that's it for this tune for now. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you have a good time playing it with your friends, in your bedroom, wherever you happen to be, and have a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.